Hey everybody, it's Paul back with Epic TCG and we are back with, yes, you guessed it, more Ultimate Masters opening. We are still searching for like that next great booster box. Um, had some, some not so great luck with these last couple boxes that we've opened up. Uh, the first box was sort of a break even, second box was pretty bad, if you remember. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and since this box started off at the jaunty angle, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this one up. Let's go ahead and get to moving. Um, I was talking about as we ended the last video, just kind of uh, kind of the advantage of being able to open up multiple boxes. Um, I want to give a shout out to Rudy over at Alpha Investments. Um, watched a bunch of his videos a couple years ago when he was just doing like the massive uh, pack or box openings um, from like Battle for Zendikar and. Um, you know, and that I don't think he did Kaladesh, and I know he didn't do Almond Cat. Um, but anyway, you know, he was opening like hundreds of boxes. Now, I understand he's got a store and everything, and I don't, I don't have that, nor do I have those kind of resources to do that. But it kind of got me interested back into, you know, kind of thinking about the nerdy math of, of this and just how being able to open up so much really kind of smooths everything out. It takes away the variance of what you're going to get. Now, obviously, variance still does occur, but the more the closer you can get to opening an infinite amount of product, the more you can eliminate variants. And when you can do that, you can really, you know, figure out how to how to capitalize on the stuff. So there we go. Fire and ice is our first foil. It's a great foil. Fulminator Mage. Haven't seen him in a while. All right. Let's see. There we go. There's our uncommons. No eternal witness. No diabolic edict. No buried alive. So yeah, anyway, um, I started back on this channel because I really wanted to open open up magic, I wanted to open up some stuff. Um, this looked like a great product to break. Hey, Leovold, Emissary of Trust, one of my favorite artwork cards, probably ever, right there. I really like, really like the way that that looks. All right, there's our mythic, uh, little $9 Elf Advisor mythic. Um, so yeah, when I when I looked at this set and kind of you know did my figuring as far as how much things would break down for, I mean it worked out. I mean crazy amount of value in these packs now. Even even with even with a lot of the stuff coming down in price, um, just an insane amount of value. Containment priest, haven't seen you in a while either, girl. What's up? So that's why I went ahead and went in on these and picked these up. So now kind of my goal is just to open these up, you know, a little bit, a little bit at a time, have some fun with it. Um, you know, if, if everything works out the way that I think it will, when I finally go ahead and, you know, liquidate out of these singles, um, I should have a profit of, I'm hoping, Honestly, I'm hoping to make about 10 to 20% on my money. Now, I did not buy any of these at wholesale. Um, the first the first group of these that I bought, I picked up at $279 a box plus tax. Uh, all in pricing was about $301 per box. The next batch of boxes that I bought were a lot more, uh, just because it was a price spike, about $340 a box. Um, Noble High Arc, awesome. Awesome rare right there. We are doing well with the rares so far on this box. Um, tremendous amount of value right there. So yeah, anyway, um, and, and that's okay. I, you know, even, even looking at the prices of, you know, kind of where things were, um, you know, when I bought the second round of boxes, um, thinking what I think that these cards are gonna do. Uh, my goal, my goal honestly is to, is to make, you know, maybe 10, 20% of the money that I've spent to buy the boxes. And my hope is to end up being able to keep a couple cards that I really like. Uh, so kind of, I've had the fun of opening the boxes and I get to keep some of the cards and I get to make a little bit of money, buy something different. Um, that's really what I'm hoping for. You know, now the downside is, you know, I put that money at risk. Um, I didn't need the money, so I don't have to worry about tying up the money in something. Um, but I put that money at risk and, you know, if Wizards of the Coast decides to print this stuff just out the wazoo, and it really affects the value of it, um, you know, I might, might lose a few thousand dollars. That's just the, the way it is. It's a chance I was willing to take. 
it seemed like a reasonable chance um, just because of the amount that I was able to buy. But you never know. But you know, but if you if you can only buy like one box or only a couple packs, I mean, really at that point, it is just hit or miss. Hey, Vessel of Endless Rest, we talked about that last video. Love the way it looks. Not gonna really help out your bottom line a whole lot though. Nourishing shoal. I like the little school of fish. If I were one of those fish, I don't know which one I would be. Rudy says he was this one and now he's one of these guys over here. I tend to think that I'm like this one here. Kind of off to the side. So anyway, um, I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think about all that? You know, if, uh, if you had a chance to, to buy a magic product, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we're talking about with hindsight and everything else, you know, what, um, what would it be, you know, that, that, that's been recent that, you know, you could have gotten into man of all right there. All right. That's one of the better mythics. Um, it's not in the tier of, you know, Snapcaster, Liliana Karn, but it is a $30 mythic, which is above our target price point per mythic that we need to get. So, uh, so that is definitely a good solid one. Um, interestingly enough, I don't think that that has a whole lot of upward ways to go as far as price. Um, I think that there's just too many white bordered ones out there. I think that people will be picking these up to upgrade from the white border, but I don't think that there's a lot of upward mobility as far as price. Just my two cents. As always, consult your financial advisor. If you are looking to make a financial plan, don't take mine or anybody else's advice. Any of these internet personalities that you see, flagstone of pro care, because that would just be reckless and foolish. Firewing Phoenix, you'll end up living right there. So let's see. All right, this box is so far turning out pretty well. Celestial Colonnade, all right, great man land. We were running around getting the, the stirring wildwoods and, oh, let's see, the past two boxes we opened, I think we've only gotten stirring wildwoods. Uh, oh, and Creeping Tar Pit. We got Creeping Tar Pit, I think, in both boxes. So Celestial Colonnade is definitely a step up. That is sitting at right about 19 bucks. Sublime Archangel gotten that one in the past couple boxes too. Oop. All right, I put my hands on it. I think it's time. I think it's time for the ultimate box topper. It even says ultimate box topper. Are you ultimate or are you not so wonderful? Let's just take a look and find out. I do like all the encouragement I'm getting in the comments from people who were sad about that Lava Claw reaches we got many, many boxes ago. Um, talking about, you know, hey, hold on to it. It's going to go up in value. People are going to try and put together sets. That's kind of my, that's kind of my plan just because it's so stinking cheap. I don't want to sell it right now. Um, it's not part of my game plan, but you know, hey, here we go. All right. Come on. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. We need to make up for last box. Karn. All right. Woo. Nice. All right. So this box is definitely good. That right there has made sure of it. And I think this is gonna go a long way towards helping us with that last box. So Karn is one of the best mythics that you can get. This is about $180, $190 right now, I think. Um, so yeah, I think he's he, he's he's just awesome looking <laughs> in, in the box topper. Um, I don't have any of my protectors right here. I should have been prepared. This is it, this is how I'm gonna, this is how I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna be sitting here holding him like this the rest of my life because I, I don't wanna touch him anymore. Um, no, just joking around. So there he is, Karn. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Okay, so this is actually like the biggest hit as far as a box topper so far for me. Um, I've been fortunate enough to pull a couple of mana vaults in, ancient, in one ancient tomb, um, but never, never like any of like the, the huge ones like Lily or Karn or Snapcaster. So that is, that is just amazing. I'm thrilled with that. Okay, here we go. Shielding plaques. Seismic assault. All right, so we went from a $200 card down to about a 40 cent card. Those are the swings that you're gonna get here on Epic TCG. It just works out that way sometimes. 
Furnace Celebration. Lava Claw reaches. Thank goodness we got you in the rare spot and not to the box topper. Just talking about man lands, there is one of them. All right. So I've been watching a bunch of videos on Magic and just like on how great 2018 was for Magic. And I will admit, um, I watched a lot of content on Magic the Gathering in 2018 as far as just watching different products coming out, reviews over on uh, the Professor's channel, Sovereigns of Lost Laura. Um, and a lot of things, you know, kind of made me want to get back into it. Um, I, was, I was thinking about it when Modern Masters 25 came out, but honestly, um, I just wasn't very excited about the inclusions in that. So I didn't want to jump into it then. Modern Masters kind of made me jump. But now with prices being so cheap on a lot of the stuff, um, I'm thinking about thinking about picking up maybe some of the stuff that I didn't grab before through the breach, great rare. And so coming up in a little while, I think we might get some, some more product. We won't just be opening Ultimate Masters. This won't just be the Ultimate Masters channel. Um, we'll, we'll get some other stuff and we'll open up and have some fun with that. Um, again, just, you know, I gotta be nerdy, gotta be mathematical about the whole thing and kind of make out my little spreadsheets. Thespian stage foil rare. Nice. That's cool. Uh, obviously we could get a lot more valuable of a foil rare, but that is a really nice one. I am happy to get that because I love that card. And <laughs> holy cow, Bitter Blossom as our third mythic. So we got Leovold, we got Mana Crypt, and we got Bitter Blossom. So this is about a 33 to $35 mythic right there. So we we were just a little bit, a little bit under the pace as far as our mythics went, as far as our expected value for mythics. Um, our box topper absolutely crushed it though. I mean, just knocked it right out of the park. So we have we have some room to spare there. And we've done very, very well on our rares. This box, okay, and the hits just keep on coming. Look at this, Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. Sweet. All right. So anyway, people have been talking about the price of sealed product for this. So the price is sitting through another foil rare. Through the Breach, this is the third Through the Breach foil we have pulled so far, which is just pretty wild. Awesome. And a fourth Mythic. This is a four mythic box. Holy cow, man, what a box, Caracas. Awesome. Man, this is a great box. This is gonna be, this is gonna go down like it's just one of those boxes that, you know, just crushes it. Some people call them God boxes. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if we're there yet, but I mean, but we're approaching it. Mark of the Vampire. Visions of Beyond. $2 card. Eternal Witness, $3 card. Let's see, all right. Um, yeah, anyway, so sealed product on this is like sitting at, you know, three, 350, 360 plus tax uh, per box. So yeah, I mean, really, realistically, you're about 380 uh, once you factor tax into it. Oh, you know, TCG player pricing um, on eBay. eBay usually kind of tracks that pretty close. Lava Spike, good card. Um, so honestly, I think these boxes, I think these could get four fifty five hundred bucks. I think they're gonna hang around the price that they're at right now for a little bit. And I think I think after this next little you know wave influx or whatever you want to call it of cards hits thespians stage, um, cards hits. And we see what that does. I think we're gonna see this move to 400 pretty quick. And then from there, I think we're gonna to go to 500. I think within a year we'll be at 500. And really what's kind of fun is go back and look at like some previous product that's out there. Hey, a foil foil. I just like saying that. It's a foil foil, people. <laughs> that's an all, look, look at that. Man, That look how cool that looks. It's a common, but man, I'm just really excited about that. Oh, Woodfall Primus. Um, it's fun to go back and look at like some previous product that's out there and then kind of see like what, what kind of value can you pull from the packs and then compare it to this, compare it to this. Seriously. I mean, like, you know, you've got Karn, you've got Snapcaster, you've got Tarmogoyf and you've got Liliana, all $200, 200, $200 plus box toppers. How many sets out there have 
you don't have you don't have the chance to get you know two hundred dollar cards in. Um, I mean, you really have to go like to Stronghold. You know, you're looking at, like the Mox Diamond. Um, now the difference, Bridge from Blood. That's what we're going to finish it with as far as the rare goes. That's okay. That's all right. It's a good solid card. A lot of them out there right now, but I think the price is going to come back up. So we know what we have over there. Let's just take a quick peek back through our rares and kind of see where we're at. So we we did go through the Breach Foil and we got a Thespian Stage Foil. So we're going to call that 25 for those. So we're going to start at 25 So $30 with Bridge from Below. Um, $35 once we take Visions into account. So we got $35 total right there. Um, we're going to call these two cards 20 So that's 55 That's going to make 70 these are just going to be thrown in 70. This is going to make 90. Flagstone, we'll call that 95 just because of everything we've kind of thrown in. All right, Noble Hierarch, we're going to put it, it's about $45 right now. So it'd be 140. And then Gamble, Containment, and Fulminator, we'll call that, we'll call that $15. So we're sitting at 155 for our rares and our foil through the breed, our foil rares as well. Um, so 155 for that stuff. We have Leovold, which we'll call 10. So that's 165. Carn Liberated, the box topper. Eh, let's see, I'm just gonna, just gonna pick everything up as careful as I can. So we've got 155. I think I just messed the math up. So 165, 195, 205, 240, let's just call it. That means we're at like 445 for the box. So fell, fell short of what I would call a God box, but still just an awesome, awesome box. And that got us back to even with the last box that we had. Thank you so much, Karn. You are our only hope. So awesome, awesome box. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for joining me. Sure do appreciate it. Sure do appreciate the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Awesome card right there. And we will see you guys next time.